This is number 21 in data sufficiency, and we're trying to find how many cars are to be sold. And I'm letting that be the variable T, and I'm letting S be the number of salespeople. All right, let's look at clue one. So remember, we're trying to find T. If each of the salespeople sells four cars, well, how many cars would that would be? You've got S salespeople, so four S would be the number of cars the salespeople sold. And you've got 23 left. So if you take 4S and then you add the 23 that's left, that's going to be your total number of cars. But I can't solve that for, since I don't, I can't solve for T since, it had, since I had the variable S. So clue one doesn't work by itself. Clue two says if each of the salespeople sells six cars, well, that would be 6S cars, and you've got five left over. And that would be your total number of cars. I don't like the variable S because a lot of times it looks like a five. But once again, you can't solve for T. So now what you do is you put both of them together. And if you put both of these together, you can solve for T or S because you have two variables with two unknowns and you would stop right here and you would say that your answer is C. But just as refresher, if I let this go here, that's 4S plus 23 equals 6S plus five. You could solve this for S, get some number, and then just plug it back in here or here to solve for T. So the answer is C.